A very good morning, Team Zimbabwe. Mamukase, Mamukase, Mamukase. So this morning, we need to take a look onto this very important issue. There is an issue of ZANU PF recalls. We've seen an issue, uh, a letter being um, submitted to the Speaker of Parliament by one, Tafazo Manyika, who is claiming to be the Interim Secretary General of ZANU PF. And um, he's recalling 70 MPs from ZANU PF. And we have seen so many contributions to this issue. Other people are saying um, this is futile. Other people are saying it is going to work. Other people are saying the speaker is to honor the, these recalls. Let us take a look onto what Obey Shava here is saying. He's a lawyer and somebody who understands how the law works. So it's very important for us to be objective onto this issue. Obey Shava says, Mr. Speaker said, your very own words kindly go by the letter you received. And he is citing the Hansard. So on this Hansard, which is right here onto the screen, the screenshot which is right here onto the screen, it says, this is the Honorable Speaker. He says, if you listened very carefully to the last part of my statement, I said, I cannot adjudicate on that issue you raised. There is a forum. I go by the letter that I received. First and foremost, thank you. This is what the speaker said. He said he goes by the letter that he received first and foremost. So in this case, the speaker was clear that he doesn't need to go and see who is who from the triple C party. He doesn't need to even have an, any other letter from triple c for him to act on the recalls he clearly indicated that he goes by the letter so what must happen now the speaker set a precedence the same happened in senate and the senate president was being asked are you saying anybody from the street can write a letter uh, of recalls and they will be effective this, this is the, 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 pre, the predicament we are in right now. The speaker erred when he made the recalls without verifying from triple C. There are leaders who are known within triple C. There is no need for parliament to, to know um, the secretary general of the triple C. They are known leaders. If they go to ZEC, their names which were submitted to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, who suggest that um, these are the people within Triple C. Because these parties, they notify ZEC and they also notify the, those in the leadership of their party in terms of correspondence. So whatever which is happening right now, the Speaker of Parliament created this mess. And if he is to ignore this letter from Tafazo Manyika, then we are likely going to to, to, to have serious consequences following because he recalled triple C MPs simply based on a letter which was written by somebody else who is not even part of the leadership of triple C. Even the president of triple C, President Nusun Jamisa, clearly indicated to the speaker that um, um, they have their own structures. It is not the duty of, of parliament to a look onto the constitutional matters of triple C, whatever. If anybody is aggrieved with what is happening within triple C, that person must go to court, not the other way around. So you cannot go to, to, to parliament and direct who to recall. So it doesn't work like that. But the speaker entertained all these things. So in my view, in my personal view, I believe that the speaker will be compelled to actually, by the law of precedence, to actually recall the 70 MPs from ZANU-PF. And I'm going to tell you what is going to happen next. Right now, if, if the court finds out that triple C MPs were Ill uh, illegally recalled from parliament, what will happen? In the last by-election, we saw the MPs um, from PDP we saw them, uh, the likes of Honorable Tendai they won their cases, but they went on to, part to, to participate in the elections. 
they didn't go back to, to parliament as PDP MPs. They participated in an election uh, now using other political parties. What it means at this moment in time, there is a great possibility that um, even if Triple C wins these cases, they will have to go back to the election. There is also a great possibility that even if uh, ZANU PF uh, wins this case after RICO, they will also have to go to the election. So, this is a mess which has been created right now. This is the collapse of the government. They have collapsed within this arm of government, which is parliament. It has been collapsed totally and altogether. There is a need for the Speaker of Parliament to reflect and see that, in as much as there are disagreements between ZANU PF and Triple C, President Nelson Chamisa and President Emerson Mnangagwa, you must respect the institution of parliament. The people in parliament were elected by the people. They were not elected by Shabango. So we, we, we need to understand that all these things they have caused are going to, to, to cause much harm. Because if the speaker upholds this last letter, it means tomorrow you will see all the remaining ZANU-PF MPs being recalled. And somebody will come and say, all the remaining triple C MPs have been recalled. Then you you have to go to, to, to the elections all together. Um, you, you need to go to the, ele the, the election cycle. It's going to be repeated. So what does that serve? It means Zimbabwe is going to waste a lot of money, number one, in terms of legal fees, number two, uh, in terms of um, having these elections. So... Um, I have never seen something like this in my entire life. I've never expected to see something like this happening. Jacob Mdenda, uh, since time immemorial, the days of Douglas Monzora, he did these things illegally. All these things they are doing, they, they, they are continuously running illegal things. And um, that has a detriment on the, 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 the uh, uh, image of parliament itself. How is parliament going to be viewed? Is, uh, is something else. Uh, uh, in parliament, the, the, the speaker of parliament must be somebody who understands what needs to be done, not somebody who is going to to, to play uh, politics while you are leading uh, the, 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 the parliamentary uh, institution. Let us take a look uh, on, on some comments here. Uh, uh, this person, Nelson, says, but honestly, which type of parliament? We are going nowhere as a country. The election fraud must be corrected First, otherwise everything else Mawungwe. To keep Emerson in power, if the legitimate uh, legitimate question is not resolved, we are going to witness motion and guns from ZANPF. So and your concern is valid. Okay. So Zganzi Tamba. Yamanya Kaya Pinda first. Okay, Zganzi. Uh, for likes you are okay and, and you get them, but for real. You know Zanu, have a known SG who writes such letters and the constitution to be followed. You know what? Chief Nerira, it's not about a constitution. It's not about um it's not about a constitution of Zanu PF, it's not about a known SG of Zanu PF. It's about a precedent set by the speaker. This speaker said they he, he, just, he simply follows the letter and nothing else. Which means on this Sanupiev case, he has to follow the letter and nothing else. So it's a very difficult moment at this moment in time. It's something very difficult to understand what is going on and what is the end game. We, we continue to watch and see how this is going to end. Let us take a look of watching on Anzi. You guys keep feeding each other cheap propaganda for retweets and likes. Here is the truth that you, that you need to know. Um, uh, not what you want to hear. What you propose won't happen because NPF is a known constitution and its leadership structure is known, and it is a matter of public knowledge. Their secretary general is Obed Mpov. Okay. What watching on clearly indicates that CCC has no known leadership structure. So how can somebody who is not known, when you say this is not known, who knows that Chavangu is, 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 is the real SG? It's triple C. Because when you say known, it's you who do not know. I want to give you an example. You have your wife. And when it's said that your wife does not, does not know any other man, 
it means you are the only person as the husband who knows your wife. So no one else can cut can can come and claim to know your wife when you are the only person who knows your wife. So it's clear here that um triple C structures are not known, but it doesn't mean that they're not there. They know each other. President Nelson Chamisa has been clear. We know each other. So what it means is if triple C knows each other, no one else can come and say, I am from triple C. And if triple C says this person is not part of us, no one can force triple C to, to say he is part of you. When triple C is clearly saying he is not part of us. The MPs are saying he is not part of us. Everybody is saying he is not part of us. The president, the leader of triple C is saying he is not part of us. So all those issues, Team Zimbabwe, um, they are clear that you see that um, we, we are having a problem here. And that problem is going to be very difficult to, 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 to actually deal with. They are speaking about a, a constitution. Um, at a certain point in time, you understand that um, the constitution, if any, it will be signed by the president, the leader of Triple C. Chavangu claims that he submitted a constitution. Who signed that constitution? Because Nelson Chamisa is the founding leader of Triple C. So you will see that no matter what they are going to do, no matter how they are going to plan to, to try and play this trick and this game, they will not win. But there are consequences to follow. So I know that some people are happy that Nelson Chamisa is being fought. And those people from the, 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 the people who previously aligned with the opposition who are saying this letter does not matter because Antep does have its structures or so. It's just a clear testimony that um, these are people aligned to the other side who are not happy with um, this new development. And they know for sure that this new development um, does affect their ambitions. It is what it is. We continue to watch and see what is going to happen next. But I have given you my own thoughts and my own views. I don't know. Let us talk in the comment section. What do you really think about this whole issue?